In today's video, we'll attempt to make warrior number 7 in our custom Skibbity Toilet series. With each of these new Skibbity Warriors that I create, I have one objective in mind. Destroy G-Man Toilet. Hi everyone, I'm really excited for today's build because not only am I going to turn Screenshot 2.0 into Tri-Titan, I'm also going to share with you 4 clay working tips that I use in every single build and hopefully they'll help you make your own Tri-Titan or any other figure that you're interested in. Tip number 1. Just get started. Don't get overwhelmed. Break the build down into simple shapes and don't worry about making a mistake at this point. At first, epoxy clay is very soft and can easily be molded. A little water on your clay sculpting tools keeps things from sticking together. Over the next several hours, the clay will slowly harden and that leaves you with a lot of time to refine your creations. Once your parts are firm enough, you can super glue them together and you end up with something that would have been a lot more difficult to make in one piece. I just realized that not only have I never customized Screenshot 2.0 before, but I've never customized a striker like him before. His top and bottom arms are connected with a pin, so cutting off the top arm releases the bottom. It's easy to fix with super glue. And I think this is going to work out a lot better than I thought. Tip number two. Use a wire armature to strengthen your clay structure. When you apply wet epoxy clay to your Akato figure, it may stick at first, and it may even stay there forever. But chances are, it'll fall off at some point. Especially if your clay doesn't wrap around and grab the object you're trying to adhere it to. Super glue will help to make that bond permanent, but for larger parts like limbs, you'll want to use a wire armature. Secure the wire into the figure by drilling out a hole. Stick the wire in and then fill the hole with super glue. And this last part is the most important step of all. Let it dry. Tip number three. Epoxy clay can be sanded. Once the clay is dry, you can sand it to add details, change the shape, or drill out holes. Just make sure you always wear a respirator. And as you can see here, I even have a vacuum to keep the particles from flying around. Tip number four. Pay attention to detail. My main goal in every single build is to make the figure as accurate and detailed as possible. But sometimes, an exact replica just isn't possible. So what I like to do is try to get a close general shape, then add as many eye-catching details as possible. And after that, I just use my imagination. If you want to get your figure 100% accurate, that's awesome, and I'm not saying that's wrong. But don't let the pursuit of perfection stop you from finishing your creation. Clark and Eddie love to draw, but so many times I'll see them stop midway through their drawing, look at it with disappointment, then crumple up what I consider to be a masterpiece. And it really makes me sad. Your art isn't supposed to look like someone else's art. You aren't a Xerox machine. Your creations are going to be as unique as you are. They're going to be one of a kind. I hope those four tips help you guys get started in the right direction. 
I'm no clay expert and I myself have a lot to learn about clay sculpting. But those tips are what get me through every single customization I do. Just to try something new, I'm going to use some black paint and primer spray paint for Tri-Titan's base coat. And let me just say, I'll never do that again. It went on way too thick and it even filled in some of the details. For the white rings on Tri-Titan speakers, I'm going to paint large white circles then fill them in with smaller black circles. I really enjoyed painting the purple veins on Tri-Titan. It was so satisfying and it really brought him to life. And I knew at that point, I was finished. What do you guys think of Tri-Titan? Do you think he can beat G-Man Toilet? Well, don't worry, because we're gonna find out really soon in a battle challenge with Eddie and Clark. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video.